Right. So once again, we got to hurry. I should have changed in my tennis shoes with you because I got to wear my boots to Oscar. So we're just going to do a real quick one. Good. Right. So I want to show you guys. See these big old long leashes? They're annoying as shit to me. But people love them. What I do like about this one particularly is it's got the extra handle, right? So you can walk like this, right? It kind of starts to leave uh, pressure where it is. If it was up about another inch, oh, good girl, it would be even better. But that's what you should look for in the long one. Unless you're going to, so what I do is I leave it in my hand like this, right? Good. Right? So, but the other thing you can do, right, is, what was I going to talk about? Oh, when you're doing heel drills, this is what most people do. I never got into the habit of it because I wasn't trained it. I do it sometimes, right? So that way you can reward out of your left side. So you hold the leash right here, right? Down. You're back into the position and down. She might not like it because of the wet ground. So I'm going to go back to base. Down. <laughs> Come on, girl, put your butt down. All right, let's try to sit. Let's try it this way and down. Nope, sit. And down. Okay, she's not going to do it on the wet uh, wet concrete. I know she'll do it on the wet grass because she was doing it yesterday. All right. So I was trained like this. So it's it was it's hard for me. Sometimes I'm pretty good about using my right hand for the leash. All right. But a lot of times I'm not. The other thing I do is I walk really fast. It's just my habit. All right. It's my 50 years of having to run all the time. Sit. Hey. <laughs> you don't like the wet. I'm not going to reward that. You half assed it. So she doesn't, I guess it's the wet ground, right? And me personally, some people would really work it out. I don't care. Come on. We're going to see because we're going to go do uh, structured play. We'll see if she'll do it in the wet grass. So what, that, what I would do there is uh, the next time it's wet out, I would bring my pet cot, which I almost did today because I probably needed to see how she is with going to bed. Right? She's probably forgotten it. But she's pretty good about remembering stuff. She's remembered a lot of stuff. Right? Look, she's losing me, or I'm losing her. So boom. You got a poo poo? You, sh you don't usually do a second poo poo. Right? So look, when you get a dog, even I would say, even from like, <clears throat> dog has been in a boarding train and, no and knows how to walk, right? It's in air quotes. Even if you go out and you just walk in front of a couple houses for at least a day or two, get them ready to follow you. Another one I've seen, I saw a guy do lately, is he backs up. Ooh, you get him following you, and then he spins. To me, it's like, why even do that? I mean, the, the, the chase and follow you is good, but um, I prefer... The, you're going to follow me the way I'm going. You know what I mean? Good. We'll take the stop. We don't care about this shit, right? Especially when it's wet and we know she doesn't feel like doing it in the wet. All right, let's go play. And we'll go walk. So anyways, heel drills all the time. Five minutes. We've got 20 minutes. So we got 